thinking I'm better I did it again All of my friends smiling like kids like you fall Welcome back. Clayton is a Milwaukee-based R&B musician, m musician rather, who you may have seen performing at Summerfest. And he is joining us live right now from No Studios. Thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, really quickly to kick off the interview, I, I just want to ask what R&B means to you. Ooh, that's a tough question. I like it, though. It just means, I mean, literally, rhythm and blues, like just that, that soulful feeling that you get. Um, you know, it could be riding down down the highway with your car, the windows down, just a cool breeze. It just feels very smooth and, and cool. Yeah, absolutely. I love that description there. So in your music and, and in your experience, who has been an influence to you? Ooh, number one, uh, Frank Ocean. Frank Ocean, probably number one. Um, I've really been into Brent Fayez lately and uh, Daniel Caesar and things like that. But I draw inspiration from all kinds of music, but I would say those the most. Yeah, absolutely. Those are a good top three there for you. In terms of Milwaukee and how the city has played a role in where you are today, how has Milwaukee specifically helped you get where you are? I think just being very supportive and, and open to me. You know, when I first got here, I didn't didn't have any friends really or any connections. and. Um, it was tough to, to see the future of the dreams that I had, but as soon as I started to, to gain a community and just get support from that, it was so fast and just made me feel so comfortable, like being fully expressive of myself. So um, just a very niche, cool community here, and they're very supportive of each other. So, yeah, it's great. And we did mention this at the beginning here. You performed at Summerfest last year. How, how was that experience for you? So I actually didn't, unfortunately, but I want to. <laughs> Hopefully next year. We're speaking year or it into like existence that. there. There we go. Speaking it into existence. With that, I like that manifestation. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> absolutely. Okay, moving on to the next question that I have for you here. In terms of you know you going through the journey that you are on, would you wish that someone would have told you something you know now back then? I I would say so. Uh, I would say mainly just. I mean, the cheesy thing is, don't care about what people think of you, but like seriously, um, I wish they would have told me that life is so fragile and that you should really take every second as worthwhile and like put it towards what you really care about and that there's so many things that are um, materials and not actual positive happiness emotions. <laughs> so. I would say that just really use your time wisely and put it towards the things that you truly believe in yeah. and love. Yeah, absolutely. What would you want your listeners, your audience to take away from your music? From my music specifically or just music in general? From yours specifically. Oh, from mine. I would say to that it's, you know, it's cool to have feelings, I guess, <laughs> is my corny answer, but... But for real, I mean, um, especially with with men sometimes and just like people feel like they don't need to, they, they should just keep things sheltered within themselves and eventually that's gonna implode. So my way of releasing that, even if I'm not always talkative or, or things like that, is to put it in this music. So I feel like it could make people just feel, just feel like they really are being themselves and being open and a free spirit and, um, you know, a good communicator. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking about your emotions is super important. Thank you so much for joining us. And right